Hello, today I will show you how to use the sand asset. For now, we are going to close all these tabs like this. So, here's the setup. First of all, we have like more than a, a test object. Here we go, like this, and we have a, a sphere with a bigger size and you can see you can change the size you can change anything you like okay after that we make like some changes and we pass this in here and you can make anything you like like your your own object anything okay and this is the sun source you can change the particle separation like how much you need so you can go to 1 million anyway you can go whatever you like it's depends on your machine okay for now for for testing we have we have to make it the lowest for faster feedback and we have and here's we make a no normal we show normals and here's the important thing here the noise uh, it depends how it's the shape of the explosion will be so you can change the noise frequency and you can change the amplitude decrease it or increase it and you can make like some offsetting with uh, with these titles okay after that we go here we don't need normals right now this this right we cache this I already cached it just like this and here's the sun sand you can go inside and there's the forces you can use the pop attraction and you can use the pop metabol force and I have a custom force here with the using the normals this this normals what we have for the noise for now we use the normals and I already cached it so you can you can see here we have the caching of this explosion and you can see like this so if we need to make some changes if we don't need this we have this the boba track if we enable it you see how how the force is reacting so you can play with this if you like boba track if you like pop um, metabols you can use it and you can go outside play with the force this is for the metabol force so you can uh, add more forces you can decrease it increase it you can add more metabols you can make it larger anything you like so now if you like you see it's a different result so you can play with it as you like now we turn this off and we enable this we go back to the normal way in this way you can like make some spikes and uh, like make the shape you like but you can use all together in combination like this <laughs> can decrease it you, you can use like two of this it's pop anyway so you can use any pop force as you like okay so for now we use this only and we can go here we use a clumping if you don't need any clumping you can like go like this there's no any clumping it's like small pieces if you need can go with uh, one 
and you will see like more pieces sticking together so it's your choice for now I'll keep it like point 0.1 and if for pop drag if you feel it's like falling is very slow falling slowly you can decrease it increase it it depends on your uh, on your your stuff <laughs> Okay, and now we cache it. No, yeah, this is the one. So, and I type like uh, here, there's some notes you can check. Now we go down here, we have like a bridge, so we, you can make it like this. This is the normal way and this is the uprise you can go more points per point like 10 like 20 as you like and you go like this you see if you go back to the original one you see the difference so you can do whatever you like so now I'll give it 5 for faster feedback and yeah go back inside do some caching this is for sourcing the the particles for making the smoke I already cached this so it's yeah it's cached go down making some stuff uh, and this you can change it uh, based on the length of your sim for now I make it like for five seconds so it will be keep emitting like for five seconds if you like to keep emitting more you can keep em emitting like for 10 seconds or one second you can change this to one or as you like so you can play with this for changing the amount of emitting and there's the volume and already I cache this and I normalize the transformation for better result with the smoke I'm sorry just one second alright so we catch this and you can test the velocity over here so we have a good velocity and there's the bound and there's the there's the source smoke and there's the same we have uh, like this resolution you can you can decrease this for final result but I think this is okay you can change this as you like and also you can play with uh, this stuff like the size the amount of dissipation the amount of disturbance the amount of turbulence anything like you can change but it's the default value so you can keep it if you are not expert with this stuff and there's the same it's very thick we can go over here go back to the inverted transformation and go back to the original size and yeah there is the smoke sim but you can see like it's spiky because it's low res so if you have more sand you have more more smoke different results you know so you can like make a test render we have lighting we have a uh, we have uh, 
a sun set up we have everything set up so you can see it's uh renders is looking nice you can do your own render as you like yeah and that's it okay thank you bye